my business will be all over the world, on channels, TV, and all the other fancy stuff. Because it's definitely good exposure. I definitely uh, enjoy this opportunity. And thank the Lord. You know. I like going in the garden because you get the plant healthy stuff and wait until it grows and then you get to eat it. In 2001, I stepped out on faith and created an organization called the Auntie Karen Foundation. At the time, I was asking for purpose and direction, and the voice that I heard said that whatever you do, the arts needs to be a part of it. So we created Auntie Karen with the mission to use the arts to empower, enlighten, and educate. With funding cuts in schools, it's so important that there are organizations like the Auntie Karen Foundation that fills the gap for young people. The arts is such a powerful tool. And with the arts, kids can create and be whoever they want to be. We've had Gordon's Garden since 2007, but this year we have a character that's an oversized purple Jamaican yam that gets to go to schools and churches and hospitals, inspiring kids to help him change his eating habits. I like Gordon Garden because you plant healthy stuff and the healthy stuff makes you healthy and strong. Karen's Foundation helps young children grow and use what they're uh, experienced in and, and helps them to develop those entrepreneur uh, skills and everything. And it's just been a wonderful, wonderful way for us to watch our children grow and prosper. For the past 14 years in October at Benedict College, that's probably the most favorite time of the year for me because that's the time that we do our Young Entrepreneurs Conference. There we get a chance to showcase kids from 7 to 22 with their own businesses. Oh, let me stop there. We actually had a four-year-old once who started her own company after coming to the conference. So I can say we've showcased kids from 4 to 22 that have their own businesses. I have a business in there called Gabby Bows and so they have two faces so you can see the design both ways and then it has teeth and craters to trap the hair so you wrap it around the center strip and you snap one and close and snap the other and close and it doesn't come out and they're um, great for little girls. We do what we call our Deborah Woodard Memorial Scholarship Fund, and we showcase three kids. And our top winner this year was John Daniel Moore, who is a very gifted and talented nine-year-old visual artist. But what you don't know about him is that he's artistic. This young man not only is a talented artist, he's taking that skill set to turn it into a business. So what we encourage kids to do is to be your best, regardless of whether you have a disability or not you too can be an entrepreneur. Well, the most fun thing is, is you get to create what, what you want, want to. The Columbia Art Museum had a special class along with USC, and they invited some of the kids uh, with autism to participate. And so we went to that six week class and he just started painting. And then at the summertime, he was bored and he said, I want, you know what I really want to do? I want to start a business. And we said, what kind of business? We were thinking like a lemonade stand or something like that. And he's like, I think, I think I could do something with my art. It kind of grew and got big and he decided he was going to name it Two Brothers Art because he didn't want to leave his brother out. We just give him um, whatever materials that he needs and he's just kind of built it from there. This year, we'd like to introduce our next generation of music legends by showcasing the Auntie Karen All Youth All-Star Band. I am so excited to be able to give them a platform so that they can share their gifts with the world. Ever since I was about six years old, music has always been something that was kind of like uh, something that would never go away. It's 
an honor because I mean to tell my parents that you know I'm singing or opening up for Al Jarreau they give me this look like wow that's who was popular when they were my age so it's just kind of a really humbling experience and I know it's definitely something I'll be able to tell my kids kids and this definitely one of my passions I can do every day it's just it means a lot to me as far as you know just expressing myself I love entertaining people um, because you, it's like you're giving back to make other people happy. The experience has been uh, pretty hard so far, um, but that's the good thing that our works make. It pays off. Music is a great way to escape, to find hope, whatever you need, love, it's always there. Music can change your mind from something bad to something good, and it's all there. There's a lot of kids go out and do bad things to find something to get into, but I was just the one kid that resulted into going and finding music. Opening up for Al Jarreau, that's like a legend, you know, so that's giving us great exposure. That's, that's putting our name like three steps higher for us to open up for someone like that. So, you know, not to just say that, wow, Auntie Karen, this is great. But I want them to say that this was amazing, something that they will remember, something that, you know, hopefully they'll record or something like that and put you on YouTube because um, Auntie Karen, this is a good organization, you know, trying to get back to the community and get young singers from the community.